It's time to pack the movies. Man, Frank, that was a good movie. Doctor Strange into the multiverse of madness or yes. in the multiverse of madness. Whatever it was called, we really liked it. And uh, I really liked all the witch stuff. Yeah. And on the way back from the theater, I bought a book called Witches of Pennsylvania. I thought it'd be fun to do a spell. Should I try doing a spell? I think you're getting a little bit too deep into this witch stuff, Tony. Well, well, let's we'll, we'll see. It's probably not even real, but here we go. I, oh, I got a spell. You're sure this, about this? <clears throat> this is convenient. It's a spell that could send you to another universe. You want to try it? Get out of town. All right, I'm going to do the spell. All right. <clears throat> Should we hold hands? No. Uh, no. Uh, you no. sure? Yes. What if you go and I don't? No, no. I, don't worry. Don't worry. I got okay. it. All I got right. it. All okay. right. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to speak the magic words. Preach. Akuna Matata. Whoa. Frank, where are we? What is this place? I got no idea, Tony. I think your spell actually worked. It seems like it's the video store, but what are all these VHS tapes? I only do Betamax. What are... Is that a Blu-ray? Where's all the HD DVDs? You screwed us, Tony. You know, this seems like that movie we just watched. Dr. Yeah. Fate into the New 52. Which part of fantastic. Oh, yes. my God. Part of the long-running DCU Ooh. continuity. Well, it's, the 30th, it's the 30th film in, uh, in the DCEU. Yes, yes. Yeah. The DCEU is killing it. Uh, I, I just hope Marvel can get their shit together. Like, DCEU has such a tight... Like yeah, continuity yeah. of films yeah, and TV yeah, shows, yeah. and Marvel's I mean, just over we here. Already, we already went through the Dark Side War. We went through Crisis on Infinite yeah. Earths. We went through Crisis on Two Earths. I mean, I know. I can't. I can't get enough of this. I know. And then Marvel, like, what are they doing? They're doing another like Tom Cruise Iron Man movie. That's like, a third Iron Man in eight years. Yeah. Like, Crazy. Meanwhile, Robert Downey's killing it as Batman. I He's know. awesome. They really, they like DCU has such great casting. Yeah, I, I can't know. get over it. I, I love know. you, DCU. And uh, like I said, Dr. Fate is awesome, and I'd like to talk about it, but I, I really just don't know where we are. I'm a little confused. Oh, wait, what's that? Frank, I think something's happening no, again. No, 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 the spell. The spell. Ugh. Whew, whew. Frank, it worked. Holy shit. This magic glove full of these magic stones brought us back to our own reality. Thank God we found that. Ooh, I will never do spells like that again. Oh, God. Anyway, this kind of reminds me of the Infinity Stone, which reminds me we were about to review Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange. into the Multiverse yeah, of yeah. Madness. We got a little lost there. Yeah. Ooh. I hope there's no weird repercussions of me using that spell. Mm. Uh, so if you're watching, please let us know if anything changes during the episode. I need to know the effects of me tampering with reality. Yeah. But first off, Frank, uh, were you excited for Doctor Strange into the Multiverse of Madness? I was very excited. I mean, we've been waiting for this movie for years now. I mean, yes. Ever since, uh, what was it? I mean, since the first one came out, hmm. we were, you know, very excited to see what they were going to do with the second one. And then WandaVision came out, and then we heard that she was going to be the villain in, in this. I mean, no, we heard that she was going to be. In it, there was yes. rumors that she was going. There's to commercials there, but, that yes. suggest that there is an evil Wanda. Yes. Um, yeah. I. So I'm not too into Doctor Strange by himself. No. Like even when I was younger, like I liked it when he would pop up in cartoons and help yeah. Spider-Man out, mm -hmm. and I liked him in comics where he would like help out other heroes. Yeah. Whenever I would try to read like a solo Doctor Strange story, I just couldn't get too into it. Yeah. And I felt like that with this movie. Now, I like the mm. first Doctor Strange movie. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, and that one didn't have a whole bunch of different characters. I mean, it had no. the Doctor Strange universe. Yes, but. and I thought it was fine, but it's hard for me to get too invested in Doctor Strange. However, his like little role in Ragnarok I really liked. I yeah. liked him in the Avengers movie. Loved him in the new Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, and I've great. now forgiven Benedict Cumberbatch. He was, of course... He ruined Khan in Star Trek Into Darkness. He just completely destroyed the character of Khan. I mean, is that his fault, though? Yes, I okay, would have turned so that role down. Okay, yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> Shame on him and the millions that he probably made. Here yes, right. yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm enjoying him in all these other little stories. So when they said they were doing a second movie, I'm like, all right, I mean, I'll see it. I'm not going to rush to the theater. But then they yeah. said, Sam Raimi. And I'm like, ah. You got your rocks off. You were like, ah. Yeah, and I'm go. not saying Sam Raimi is like guaranteed success. I never actually, I never watched that Wizard of Oz movie he did. 
the uh, Oz the Great and Powerful with oh, James he, Franco. He did that one? Yes, and uh, I was at a friend's house, no and it idea. was on mute, yeah. and I think I saw 40 minutes of it. On mute? Yes. And Only way to watch a movie. Yeah, well, it was just on in the background, and I kept yeah. catching glimpses of it, and I just went, wow, this looks <laughs> really terrible. Yeah, you turned back and sipped your beer again. You're like, okay, yeah, and I'm, I'm just like, what the fuck are those <laughs> robot scarecrows? This looks bad. Um, but yeah, so I was like, all right, he did help create the Spider-Man. Like, he made the Spider-Man trilogy. Yeah, made it. You know, I mean, kind of lost it a little bit at the end there. But we just had his Spider-Man come back and the characters from his Spider-Man come back. And now mm -hmm. he is joining the MCU. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to see like what he can do. And now that he has a character who's full on supernatural and I like his supernatural stuff, not just Evil Dead. He also produced the Hercules and Xena show yeah. from the 90s. So I'm like, all right, what what can he do with the big budget? Because I seen what he did producing with the smaller budget, but I want to yeah. know what he can do with the big budget. I mean, the Spider-Man ones were big budgets as well, but yes. it's big budget nowadays with the kind of technology they have. I mean, that was... Yes, but they're more self-contained in like a sci-fi-ish, real-ish world. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I was excited to hear him come back. This movie was supposed to come out before Spider-Man No Way Home. And they switched it. Was it? Yes. Oh. I think there was going to be multiverse stuff that was introduced here that would lead into No Way Home, but then they switched it for some reason. Oh. Did that's why I, it's kind of weird. This movie, I feel like he should be referencing what happened in No Way Home more, and he just doesn't. Yeah, I guess knowing. Well, no, he does. He he referenced he, very little, he but he doesn't really that, he, that he just went through something with uh, with Spider Man. Does, yeah. Does he? So. But like, just, bit, but yeah, it's not like he a never huge really spells thing. out. Well, I mean, the second that this thing starts, you're, yeah. you know, you're but, up and running. So. I mean, Marvel movies and look, I, for the most part, I like Marvel movies, but the real cynical business side is starting to become more apparent. They're feeling more like commercial. And that was a criticism mm -hmm. from the beginning. People were like, even like Thor and the first yeah. Captain America, like this is just commercial for Avengers. Yeah. But now it's not, it's no longer a commercial for the next movie. It's commercial for everything Disney has. Yeah. Well, but I was, when you have the characters and, you know, yeah. and then people, more people go to the movies, more people, you know, go to see it. They, they make more but money it's like, off it. It's they, like, Disney, you already won. Want to see it, just tell us a good story. You already won. Yeah. We're already going to your parks and buying your stupid shit. Just, just tell us a good story first. I think a lot of it is to get people to come back to the theaters as well. You yes. hit them with these big three, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, and yeah. Thor with all the characters that are in them. And then hopefully they start to kind of slow down and just focus. Maybe that's what the TV shows are for, though. You know, just to focus on the characters. Yeah. And then these now these big films are $200 million, you know, budget films yeah. to bring in all the names. Yeah, so. and I'll go more into that as we go a little bit more into the spoiler section. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I was excited to see Sam Raimi show up in this yeah uh to like put his stamp on it but like marvel they kind of like they're kind of very hands-on like some directors get like way more freedom than others like i feel like uh james gunn gets a lot of creative freedom with guardians of the oh, galaxy they trust him taika watiti got yeah. a lot of creative freedom for the most part yeah but then they've had uh, they've had stuff where they fire directors like edgar wright was supposed to do ant-man for years yeah never happened before there was an mcu he was assigned to ant-man yeah and that didn't happen. So I was kind of worried. I'm like, can can Sam Raimi kind of work in this universe? And I know yeah. he loves comics. He yeah. loved Spider-Man growing up. I know he liked Doctor Strange. He put a reference to him Love in Spider-Man 2. Yeah. But then I saw it's like, oh, uh, it's Doctor Strange with uh, Scarlet Witch. I'm like, okay, he probably knows Scarlet Witch. Same year. He knows horror. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay, I could see him with that. And it's like, and America Chavez. And I'm like, what? Character from 2011? Well, you know, just because you don't know America Chavez doesn't... Well, the thing is, it's like, wait a minute. We saw what happened when Sam Raimi was given a character that he didn't grow up with. We got Topher Grace Venom. Uh, and I was like, uh-oh. I mean, uh, but luckily, I don't know anything was. about America Chavez other than she starts <laughs> fights on the internet. Yeah. I don't care. I'm actually wearing my America Chavez shirt. Yes, that's your America Chavez yes, shirt. I support. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I was like, oh no, are they like forcing him to do a lot of the stuff? So uh, I was a little worried, but then I, I saw the trailers and I liked them yeah. for the most part. I wasn't like wowed. Yeah. I tried to stop towards like, you know, I mean, these, yeah. these teasers that have been coming out the past couple of weeks. I yeah. tried to stop around then. What Certain did things. you think the story of this film was going to be based on the trailers you saw? So I really had no idea i mean mm -hmm. i watched you know what the first 
trailer or two and then knowing that you know just came off of you know spider-man and then how the universe has been being built and knowing that we're going towards a multiverse plus the name is in mm. you know multiverse uh we know that it was a horror we know that that's you know what we were mm. aiming towards but not as much of you know who's the villain and what the goal of the villain is and exactly what's happening mm. so i mean at this at this point before walking in the villain could really be anybody which it I, really could. I, I guess I would say that that's more along, you know, just the horror movie kind of vibes and, you know, trying to really shock you. But mm -hmm. so, yeah. What did you think? Uh, so I thought whatever he did in Spider-Man, because this is what the trailer said. And the line is there's a line in the trailer that isn't in this movie where it's like what we did broke something or something. So I thought like Doctor Strange doing the spell, yeah. shattering the multiverse caused like something. Yeah. And now monsters from the multiverse yeah. are coming in. But also in, sorry to cut you off. Yeah. Also in the trailer uh, is eventually, uh, it's in the trailer. Charles Xavier saying, you know, let's yes. see what kind of strange you'll be. Yes. Makes you think, okay, well, it's an evil strange as well. Yeah. So I was like, okay, Dr. Strange broke the multiverse. Now everything's all wacky and he's got to go in and fix it. Yeah. And he needs his good friend Wanda to help him because yeah. she just learned all this magic stuff yeah. from her yeah. adventure. Yeah. And somewhere along the way, they get a sassy teenage girl who joins <laughs> them on their adventure. Hell yeah. And there's a big monster that they're probably going to fight. And they go to another multiverse and they meet the Illuminati. And I thought yeah. that Mordo was the Mordo. And I thought all the Illuminati were going to be from different dimensions. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And. I was like, all right, and then he's going to meet all these people and they're going to give him help and him and Wanda are going to solve it together. Yeah, or maybe even have the Illuminati that were ended up being the uh, Yeah, or the maybe the Illuminati was the villain. Maybe the, the main villain was Mordo. He was, you know, pulling strings because we know that he doesn't like Doctor Strange. Yes. You know? There's a, there's, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of options that they could have went with this movie. Plus, you know, Wanda just came off a, of, you know, a lot of trauma and she just destroyed a whole city and ruined a whole lot of lives for, yes, for a little and... while. So you're like, okay, this is her redemption. This is, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just, yes. I was feeling for it. Yes. It really this felt like it was going to be her redemption you know? story, wasn't it? <laughs> um, Cause that was a big thing. That's another thing. So going into this, here's what you need to watch to go into this movie. Let me know if I'm missing out on anything. Hit me. Well, obviously, you need to watch every MCU movie. I would. Yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, every, if you haven't, it doesn't even you know have to do with this film. You should watch yes, it. Yes, every X-Men movie, every X-Men season of the 90s animated series. Go on. You have to watch every uh, Fantastic Four movie, including the Roger Corman unreleased one. Uh, obviously, you got to watch uh, the Incredible Hulk TV series, including the two TV movies, Trial of the Incredible yep. Hulk and The Return of the Incredible Hulk. Yes, um, what else do you need to see? Oh, in Inhumans, you need to watch every I episode watch of Inhumans. Inhumans, all yep. The, the uh, Captain, Captain Marvel. Yep. Uh, um, uh, just throw in the Wolverines in there as well. Throw the Wolver yep. throw the, the Wolverines, Wolverines in there. there. You gotta watch the Wolverines. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, yep. every episode of Agents of Wait Shield. Wait a minute. So you're saying everything that's on Disney Plus? Is that what you're getting at? Just run through the whole catalog? Yes, I think most of everything that's on Disney Plus, and I'm trying to think of like what other movies you need to see. Well, you probably should watch Evil Dead 1, 2, 3 in the remake and all three seasons of Ash vs. Evil Dead uh, to get uh, a lot of the uh, references and stuff. And I said stuff about Hercules and Xena. There's a statue at some point in the movie that looks like Xena, so go ahead and watch every episode of Hercules and Xena, including the original Hercules TV movies that preceded the TV show yeah, you have and to. the animated crossover movie they did. It's a must. It's also, a must. Also watch uh, Into the Spider-Verse. Into the Spider-Verse, um, obviously. You know, and uh, all the all the Marvel animated, uh, you know, the, the Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Right. Um, I would watch all those, you know, just to get a sense of. Right, you know, right, right. On. Watch. While you're at it, read all the comics. Yes. All Re read as many start, comics as you start can. Start one. Watch all five Shaft films. Uh, you should definitely watch um, RoboCop 2, Species 2, Tremors 3, and uh, the movie Virus. And maybe Justice League. And the Justice League. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and uh, an officer and a gentleman. Tony Rambling. No, no, I'm, this is very important. I'm just not, I'm not just looking at tapes in the <laughs> store. I'm just rattling stuff Wait a up. minute. <laughs> yeah, look, 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 Frank. It, it's it's important that in this order you watch Saving Silverman, Scary Movie, Smoking the Bandits Two, Smoking the Bandits Three, Sister Act Sixty. Hold on, wait. Let me add one in. Ah, yes. And also the entire Indiana Jones series. Yes, yes, yes. And don't forget, don't forget uh, the Bear, uh, the French art film, The Bear, <laughs> about a bear. I'm taking it home with me. Yeah, it's about a bear whose mama bear dies. 
Oh. And uh, he befriends an adult uh, male bear who it decides to adopt them. And uh, they help each other and they learn and grow. And then they have to survive hunters together. No. It's a very beautiful, touching film. Yeah. If you don't know anything about real bears, in which case the male bear would kill a cub that doesn't smell like him. So you got to know all of that before you go into this film. <laughs> and luckily we knew all that. We knew it all. We knew it all. We knew all of it. You don't, you wouldn't think that the bear plays a lot into this film, but it does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, uh, without going too much into the plot, before we get into the whole spoiler section, mm -hmm. I enjoy this film. I think it's shot very, very well. Yes. Uh, I know it's been a while since I saw a Sam Raimi thing. Like I said, that that Oz Great and Powerful was like it looked like a CGI barf fest. Yeah, and I was afraid there'd be something like that in this. But no, uh, most of the visuals are cool. The very multiverse cool. stuff, they don't go as hard as I thought they would. But I feel like that for a lot of these movies, like you think they're going all these worlds, but they yeah. only ever end up in like one or two worlds. Yeah, but I mean, see, that's the thing. I if they would have went a little bit over the overboard yeah. and crazy, then it, it would have been too much to yeah. to stop into, you know, I mean, we've went through a whole bunch of different worlds, but to only stop in what, three or four different universes, maybe five max. Yeah. Um, you know, really kind of it helped with the with your storyline and you know, yeah. and your three act process. And it really did add to it. If we would have jumped from, you know, this one to that one to this one to that one and yeah. jumping all around, then, yeah, it would have been too much. But to slide through them is you know it's pretty yeah cool. yeah i i think i would have preferred uh oh by the way every episode of sliders uh the 90s tv show sliders where they slide into parallel worlds i need to watch what i say okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta watch, you gotta watch every episode of sliders uh man i you know i feel pretty happy for sliders fans from the 90s yeah because they were doing the multiverse stuff i mean star trek beat them to it but that was a weekly show about the multiverse hmm. i don't know what sliders is it was a show where they would slide into different yeah. parallel Earths. All right, well then, fuck it. Throw the Flash in there as well. That's the thing. Yeah. I bet there's a lot of yeah, Sliders yeah. fans that like the yeah. Flash. Everything, what is it? Everything all at once? Everything everywhere all at I once? I didn't see Throw that. that one in there as well. I didn't see it either. I didn't see I really that because it to. wasn't based off a comic book. <laughs> Capes and Frank, cows. Frank. Capes and cows, Tony. Frank, you'll never believe it. The Northman episode, one of our lowest performing episodes. Was it? Really? Yes. Nobody and, watched it. And I declared that week hmm. that I am the Robert Eggers of YouTube. Uh, well, it's a good thing that we were our craziest on that episode because yes. nobody's going to watch it. We but said if, a you, if you do want to see us going crazy, it'd be the one to we watch. We had a lot of fun. We uh, probably said some spicy stuff. I don't know. You're going to have to watch the episode to find out. <laughs> but yeah, so I like the way it was shot. He gets to use a lot of his, and everyone really likes when he did the Evil Dead stuff in Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Uh, like I said, now that he has a supernatural character in a supernatural world, yeah. he just goes balls to the wall yeah. with the Evil Dead imagery. Yeah, he was given a playground. And I mean, I don't know how much Marvel was, you know, pulling the strings on it, but yeah. I mean, it was very much Sam Raimi. I do know he was complaining about how it was difficult to make a movie where he didn't know what the end of the movie was. Really? Because that's how, like... Because when they're coming up with this stuff, like yeah. I, I heard like they, they start like pre-visualizing action scenes before the scripts ran. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess you could you could do that and then just throw in who you want. Yeah. I mean, especially with Doctor Strange and his skill set and, yeah. you know, and, and what, you know, how he, you know, uses his, his magic and what he does with it and the kind of, you know, but remember, it's stuff also see, but... what do the higher ups want to push next? What do they want yeah, yeah. this to push? Yeah, yeah. What do they want it to push currently? Yeah. I mean, that's, so that's even the all writers gonna sitting there. The writer can't just make it up. He's got to be like, what do you guys want? Okay, I'll yeah. work around that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I still think uh, Sam Raimi's visual stamp is on it. But it is kind of interesting to see him play in someone else's yard. Yeah. Because he can't do everything he would normally do. Like over the top. and Yeah, but I assume he stuff. likes these movies if he was willing to yeah. go with their template. I but mean, for a Marvel movie, this yeah. was very, I would say, Sam Raimi and a little brutal there at times. Yes. So. Yes. Uh, for a Marvel film, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I would... I would think that, you know, there would be some kind of... Wasn't there complaints when, when they put uh, the Daredevil series on Disney Plus and how brutal it was and all that? Yeah, so, they, they like re-edited Falcon and Winter Soldier, so I heard, to, to make it less violent. So to have something like this, that like yeah. literally things are exploding and yeah. stuff like that, I mean, it's... They get away with it. All right, so one little spoiler in the thing. The, um, just a slight spoiler. The, what you see in the trailer, it's something that's in the trailer... Wanda covered in blood. It's not really blood. It's made to look like blood. 
Um, so there was, when I was looking at the trailer, I'm like, oh, God, she's so going much. full carry. And then I'm looking at it in the movie. I'm like, ow. Okay. Yeah. I see what you did there. Um, but yeah, uh, I thought Benedict Cumberbatch was pretty good in this. Still with the wig. He's still rocking that horrible wig. Is it a wig? What, am I the only one who sees the, <laughs> the like very thick hairline he has? Like, yes, that's a wig. I mean, Doctor Strange has great hair, so he's got to have He had a wig hair. in the last wig. It's the most obvious wig in the world, and I can't believe everyone made fun. Like, Johanna and Kira made fun of me for bringing it up last time. Well, I and think... it's, it's very noticeable. Like, I look at the person's head, and I know when there's a change being made, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that was one of them. Yeah. So yeah, he had real hair in the other movies, yeah, and then yeah. suddenly it's a wig, and it's a very obvious wig. I never noticed it. I I noticed it At right all. away. I noticed these things. I guess like I've seen, yeah, I guess I've seen him in other things and pictures of him, but yeah, I guess I never really noticed his, yeah. his hair. Eh, um, I'm I'm too busy staring into his eyes. You know what I do like? Act. You know what I do like in this series that I didn't think I would like? What? Again, when I was reading Doctor Strange comics, I never cared about Wong, who was basically his manservant. Okay. I've liked what this series has done with Wong. Oh yeah. He's, he's the a, Sorcerer he's a, Supreme. He's a fan favorite, which is great. Yes. I love that he's a Sorcerer Supreme. Yes, and uh, even that terrible Shang-Chi movie that everyone pretended to like for some reason. Yeah, uh, I like a little bit of it. Most of it I like. It's certain parts. Maybe like... I like that they made that Abomination the look the way he was supposed to look. Yeah, that was cool. But, but then he put him in a bad movie. They were just testing, you know? They were just teasing it, putting but it out Wong there. But was great Doesn't that, that get you to go see, you know, because it was in all the trailers. Abomination no, it was, didn't get me to go see it. But Abomination was in all the trailers, and people are like, oh my God, he might be in this movie a lot. And then you get two seconds of him, no, and he's I hanging out better. with Wong, and then, you know, better. he's like, all right. Well, you're just very smart. I buddy. knew better. You're just super smart. Uh, but yes, Wong was the best part of that movie. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, I agree. He's the best I'm all part in of that on food. Wong. Yeah. I really He's like great. Wong. I think he should get his own series. He really should. Yeah. I like the, the, the I like the stupid commercials they've been doing with yeah. him and the cape. Him and the cape are going on adventures. Yeah, yeah. He's got a line in this yeah. that makes me think that you know we might uh, go on uh, Wong in the multiverse kind of feel. That would be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I really like what they did with um, Wong. They brought Rachel McAdams back. We won't say how, but she has more to do in this. More than I thought she would, because you go by the beginning of the movie and you're like, oh, this is how they write her out of the movie. Well, the first one she had a lot to do in. And she was just kind to of. To an extent. I to guess. an extent, Not, but she was she just had like, more in this. She did more in this. And yeah. like, I, that was yeah. the biggest shock because they yeah. don't really show her too much in the trailers, but there's yeah. the beginning with her. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, this is how they get her out of the movie. But then, like midway oh, through, they reintroduce was, her. I'm yeah. like, oh, she's actually doing shit. Yeah. She's a part of the narrative. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's nice. I like Rachel McAdams. I wish she was in more stuff. Doctor Strange 2, you're about to travel through multiverses and you're not going to see a lot of uh, Rachel McAdams. Plus, Rachel McAdams is just... She's, yeah. She's a heartthrob. She's a beautiful woman. Yeah. I like Rachel McAdams. Uh, so that's why I'm glad they gave her a little bit more to do in this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think more of the cast. Um, you get uh, a lot of Chiwetel uh, OG of Ford. Yes. Is that how you say his name? I can never I'm pronounce his name. Pretty right. sure. Yes. Uh, and I love that actor. I feel bad yeah. I can't say his name. But I love that actor. Give it a try. I, I always said Chowetel Ujafabar. Chowetel Ojia 4. I think. Ojia 4? Right? I think so. Correct me. The guy yeah. from Serenity. Yeah. That's yeah. when I first saw him was yeah. Serenity. Yeah. He's and he great. was great in Serenity. He plays he one is. of the best bad yeah. guys ever. But no, they, they went in a different direction than I thought they would based off the trailer. But no, yes. it was great seeing him in here yes. again, again doing yep. more. Thought that we were going to see him in a different light. But yes. Uh, yeah. And I like what they did. And he's, like I said, he's one of the best actors. Yeah. And I wish. A lot of funny lines. He's got a lot of funny lines, a yes. lot of quick quips. I remember and, you know, years him. ago, I wanted him as Black Panther, like in 2009, yeah. 2010. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. man, he would be a great Black Panther. And yeah. then they're like, he's finally in it. He's in Doctor Strange. And I went, oh. But he's great. He's yeah, good. He's great. I think he was great in the first one. I mean, he's a, mm -hmm. he's a, he's a really fantastic actor. And you, know, yeah. and, and, you know, we have some fun with him in this one. So. Yeah, we have a lot of fun with him. Yeah. Uh, and the then, man. of course, of course, America Chavez, played by Zachi something. You're going to do that? I don't know her name. I remember it was Zachi. <sighs> who, uh, as we found out right before this, is apparently in the new Babysitter's Club. That's where she came from. <laughs> <laughs> Love the Babysitter's Club. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Zachiri Gomez. Okay. Um, yeah, so like I said, this is a character they introduced in 2011. Mm -hmm. She was a space alien. So she's newer to the to the comp. Yes, yeah. she was a space alien, yeah. and then they rewrote her to to be a person from Earth. Hmm. Uh, 
Now, does she have the same powers in in the uh, in the comics? I don't know. Here's all. What did you know about this character before today? Absolutely nothing. So when yes. I when I went into this film, I mean, I saw the the picture leaks. You know, I heard a little bit about it, but I'm I'm more. You know, I always say this. I'm more of a DC Comics kind of guy. Mm. I read those growing up, so I know a lot of those characters. Mm. Marvel wise, it's mostly you know, mostly the big characters and all that. So when it comes to you know somebody like America Chavez. It's great that they're bringing, you know, new characters into the film and, you know, with certain power sets. But, yeah, I mean, I really, I didn't know anything about her going Yeah. All I knew was that people fight about her. Apparently, she's, apparently, she's, her comics are cringe and they don't sell well. I hear accusations of Marvel trying to push her on everything. uh, And it pisses off a certain group of people online. Yeah. And then another group of people online come to her defense. Yeah. And I think they just want excuses to yell at each other over these characters. Now, I don't know what she's like in the comics. Most people do. Maybe because the comics don't have the most subtle writers these days. Maybe it is kind of annoying in the comics. But as far as she is in the movie, she's kind of there. Yeah. Yeah. She, that, well, no. She's a big She's a no, big, no, 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 she's a big character. But like, but like, she's just a normal character. Like, everyone... Like the side she that said, does. oh, she's awful and yeah, yeah. she's going to spread all the propaganda. And oh, then the other yeah. side that's like, she's the most important thing in the world. Yeah, Both yeah, of them are wrong. She's yeah, just yeah, a yeah. normal she's character just, who yep. does the job well. Yep. I think people just like to fight on the internet. That's right? what I think. Yeah. yeah. And like, again, I can't speak for the comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've read some yeah, comics. I yeah. no, haven't read any of them. But in this, yeah. I feel like, I mean, this movie revolves around her. The whole the yeah. whole entire film revolves around her. Yeah, I mean she you don't see a lot out of her, but she's the driving force for yeah. for this film to, you know, get to where we're going. So And uh t- can we talk about the Saudi Arabia thing? <laughs> yeah. Hit it. So Disney gets called out all the time because this is the thing Disney does. Mm-hmm. But for a year ahead of time, they're like, We have a very progressive scene in our film. Mm-hmm. Very, very progressive scene. Well, they want to test the waters. Yeah, very, very progressive scene. You guys are going to love it. And then every single time the movie comes out and it's always a blink and you miss it moment. Yeah. And then the internet found out that overseas they cut all those scenes out. Yeah. So famously, uh, the the kiss at the end of um, Rise of Skywalker, the two women kiss, they cut that out for the Did they really? Release. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and then the one moment was like uh, the new Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. They're like, hey guys, there's a gay moment in it. It's a very, very powerful gay moment. And then yeah. I watch it, and it's just LeFou yeah, quick, dances with a guy yeah. for a second. Yeah. Bet you they were going to cut it out, but they got accused of all this stuff, so they had to leave it in. And for that, they lost a couple countries. And I think yeah. Saudi Arabia was the big one. So I think we've talked about the movie enough. Have we? You want to go into spoiler territory? I have been waiting my whole life to go into spoiler territory okay. with you, Tony. So spoilers. 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 We're spoiling. <laughs> Let's start with the big one. Hit me. Scarlet Witch is the straight up villain of the movie. Villainess. Brutal AF. Yes. They, so they I set F. it up where these these demons chasing her, uh, chasing, uh, what you call it, America Chavez and mm-hmm. the other Doctor Strange oh, with the yeah. ponytail. We start right out the gate. We're yes. going. We're going for it. You don't, I mean, you get the hint that that's, you know, with, I mean, the hair, the, yeah. w- the wig that he's wearing in that one. Yes. You're like, okay, it's, this is a different multiverse strange and let's see yeah. where this goes. And that strange just trying to kill America Chavez to stop her power from Isn't destroying the multiverse. To. He just, you know, in his brain, he thought he was. He right. thought it was the only just way. Just like every villain, you know, um, thinks that that's the way that they need to, to go with it. But yeah, so that's the thing. Man. And Doctor Strange, while this is happening, mm-hmm. he's at uh, Christine's wedding. Yeah, she met a guy in between films. Oh, my heart. Yes, and uh, oh. by the way, I. Uh, I didn't rewatch Doctor Strange one, so that guy talking to him in the pew, I forgot. It took me a, yeah, a yeah. while to realize it's that the was other, the asshole doctor. Yeah, it's the other doctor. And I'm like, oh, right, it's, right, that guy. He's also in everything. Long. Boardwalk Empire, he's fantastic. In yeah. It. Who does he play? But yeah, he's great. Yeah, yeah and he's yeah. got a good part in this. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Doctor Strange is sad because, you know, he blipped also. But also yeah. his relationship with her was kind of muddled anyway. Yeah, and it's, you know, he, he wants to protect the people around him. You know, the usual hero yes. story that he doesn't want people to get hurt. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, she's she's marrying another guy, and she asks him, you know, uh, or, but the crazy part is at her wedding, yeah. they're having that conversation, and she's like, you know, yeah. you're always the one that needs to be holding the knife. And it's like, wait, 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 wait. If my ex came to my wedding, right, yeah. and she was still in love with me, yeah. and she asked me, you know, hey, you know, or said, you know, I know we didn't work out, whatever, I'd be like, we're not having this fucking conversation right now. <laughs> Look, see, that's, I... Just a thought. I, I would like, never... What is happening? Frank, 
Mark <laughs> my words. Hit me. Mark my words. Mark it. Hold on to this clip. I will never go to an ex-girlfriend's wedding. Right? To ever, begin with. Ever. May God strike me down if I ever do something oh. stupid like go to my ex-girlfriend's wedding. I would be an idiot. I, dude. So yeah, that's an interesting character thing. I like that he's having dreams about the multiverse. We yeah. find out that yeah. dreams are just you yeah. seeing stuff in cool. other multiverses. It was a theory from the first strange and then yeah. and then, you know, everyone else thinks that Wanda thought it, and then, mm. you know, this strange thought it. And it's yeah. like it's kind of cool because I mean like had some crazy dreams. What do you say when you're, what did Wong say? The yeah, one Wong's like, like, so that dream where I'm naked running rough, running from a clown? I'm like, oh God, let's see that universe. Yeah, that's, um, uh, I love crazy. the setup that they do where they leave the zombie strange on the rooftop. They bury him. Oh yeah. It's great. Uh, we're not zombie dead. Yeah. That was another thing from the trailer. I thought they were doing Marvel zombies. Yep. Especially after what if I yep. thought they were doing Marvel yep. zombies. There was a point when Wanda was coming to attack. And I thought that maybe she was raising zombies and going to have like a zombie army. Because you yeah. see like all these, I mean, I know that she's powerful enough, mm. but you know, Strange has a huge army. Mm. So it's like, all right, who's her army? I would think that she would raise the dead and bring them yeah. with her. But yeah, it was just her being super fucking badass. Yes. Yeah. So we find out like, uh, because the, the demons, by the way, uh, oh, uh, worst movie I've ever seen in my life. It has a giant eye being stabbed, and my rule God. is if you have an eye stabbing in your film, it's the worst movie ever. So you don't like the new, uh, the Suicide About Squad? Awful. Awful. Horrible. Yeah, awful. totally. I love it. Like, I like uh, the first two John Wicks. John Wick 3. Hate mm -hmm. it. Hate it. Because mm -hmm. that knife in the yeah, eye. Yeah, knife in the eye. Yeah. The Dark Knight. Oh, oh, pencil it. in the eye. Oh, God. Not <laughs> a pencil. Throw it in the trash. Oh, dude. Throw that movie in the trash. Lord. Dark Knight Rises. You got eye over. problems? You know, you, don't like, you don't like the whole eye thing? Yeah, I have an issue with my eyes. Yeah, I have and an I've issue. also accidentally stabbed my eyes once. No, really? Yes, and then the cells Oof. in my eyes are weak because I have this condition and they don't heal right. Oh. So you, so the doctor has to go in with needles and no. like razors and cut it up a that. different way to heal it. Oh, wait, I didn't know that. Anyway, right. back to this. So, uh, I just want to add in. Uh, yeah. Best um, best background? Uh, this guy should get an Oscar. Right, right. Oh, so there's this important scene Whoever happening at the Whoever you are, wedding. man, you deserve an Oscar for best background. If I can find him in the trailer, I'm putting the shout out to him. Whew. Yes. Uh... At the wedding, yep. uh, Rachel McAdams yep. and Benedict Cumberbatch are talking. Oh yeah! And in the background, across, like way in the background, way, he's he's across the he's across the balcony onto yeah. another balcony, yeah. and he's and he's perfect. Yes, right. And there. he's wearing like a shiny suit jacket, and he's like talking like this. I'm like, oh, and yeah. me and you, uh, who <laughs> let, I don't want to brag, we've done some background. Been work. there, done that. We put, we've done some background Shit. work. And I, you have, I, I literally know where like that extra is happening. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you said something, like, and I looked at you. I was like, dude, I wanted to say the same thing. He's <laughs> like, he's not just, he's not just like, you know, in the shot, like dead center. Yeah. No, no, no. He is shoulder straight to the camera, like looking to his buddy, like ha ha. But then like, hey, how you uh, he's at, like that guy <laughs> somewhere out there. That guy's like, holy shit. Oh my there god. There I am. Dude, there I am. He was he was pretty much in the conversation. Like, yeah, he was, he yeah, was there. Yeah, yeah. I you, mean, what? and like I said, I mean, we know what it's like. Yeah. yeah so, well, yeah, not you. You got cut out. Not of everything. There's a few things out there that no, you can pause and you'll movie. see me. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn it. Go back and watch our Batman review. <laughs> the <laughs> Batman review. Anyway. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so the the twist with Wanda, by the way, I thought I, I'm shocked they just tw did the twist right away. They didn't build like up that. to it. Yeah. Uh, she didn't like like trick him for a while and then turn on him at a moment. No. She's just like, she screws up and she's like, bring America here. And yeah. she's like, oh. You didn't say her name. He's like, he's like did no. you send them? She's like, yeah, it's me. I'm evil now. Yeah, no problem. Here, take a look at this. And then yeah. just the whole, all the trees die. And then you're just, yep, there yeah. with the book right in front of her. So like, she had the evil book that she yeah. took from Agatha. Oof. And she should have been like, wow, you know, yeah. this book probably made Agatha kind of a bitch. Agatha was right, by the way. Yeah. She yeah. said that Wanda was, you know, a villain and yeah. horrible and brutal and yeah. dirty and crazy. And see but also happens. it's because the book. And the I, book bet you I bet you 100 percent that Agatha, when next time that we see her, I think in her show, she's going to turn around and be like, yeah, that bitch Wanda. I told you all. Why don't you listen to me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the book has uh, corrupted her and yeah. made her evil. And then she wants to be with her kids again. Yeah. Her fake kids that she made up well, you with know. her fake vision robot boyfriend plus that um uh white vision is out there still somewhere yeah i'm shocked so, white vision made no appearance in has this. she not 
going to look for them? Maybe see like you know if uh, they can be together now, or is like you know I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So, but I mean, you know, she even if the kids were fake, then she started going into the book. She started realizing mm. that even with with her dreams, uh, that you know, her kids really are out there. Yes. And I mean, we keep on going back to just this one universe with I guess she I guess she's targeted targeting like a weaker Wanda. Yeah. Uh that's why she keeps on going back to that one because I mean we learned that there's tons of, you know, universes out there, which they also coined uh, our universe six one six finally. Yes, which uh my friend Ryan or yeah. my boss Ryan. Yeah. Depending on the uh, do I have I guess in this universe Ryan is my boss. Yeah. Uh he was texting me, he was just like, Yeah, I don't like that they call it six one six. I'm like, neither do I. Why not? Because that is what the comic universe always is. The main Comic universe is six one six, so they should have just given it a different yeah, number. Yeah. So what are you saying? Like, you know, the the comics are like so that these these characters, there's a comic universe out there. Yeah. Then you could cross I, over a little bit, but yes. it's just weird to have two six one six Marvel universes. I mean, like this is like you know, I mean, the films comics. So you know, I would look at it like yeah. you know, this is the main universe, and fans want to see that. They want to know that. I the, guess, but they could have given the main. any other number. It yeah. wouldn't have mattered. I it's would just, just yeah. they literally pick the one number where it's a problem <laughs> because everything's based off the comics. So I mean, they, they you know yeah. change things around, but I mean, like you know, as the main universe, then this is it. And then which one's the one that we keep going into? Eight thirty two. It's like or? eight. Yeah. Eight 34 like or something yeah. uh yeah so they go there um because america chavez has a power where she can open up portals to other yeah, she universes doesn't she doesn't know how to, how to control it, it yeah. but uh she has the power. very cool too a big star comes up she yeah she has the big star that comes up yeah, yeah. uh yeah so they go to this one universe in particular yeah oh by the way wanda's motivation it's spider-verse it's literally the kingpin's motivation oh yeah he's fucking around with multiverses to get his family back. Put that together. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then she's yeah. yeah. Very nice. Hey, good night, man. So you're right. They they go they primarily spend time on the regular earth mm -hmm. and then the earth 834 yeah. who are aware of the multiverse. Yeah. That's where you meet the other Christine. Yeah. Who was like a scientist yeah. who knew the original. So we find out there was she's another Stephen cool. Strange. Yeah. She also said she's working for the Baxter Foundation. Yes. Yes. Uh, right. So we find out there was another Stephen Strange who died yep. fighting Thanos. Yep. Uh, we see Mordo. Yes. We meet Mordo first, I guess. Well, yes. Actually, we meet. Oh, we meet Bruce Campbell Bruce first. Campbell first. <laughs> this is so. Again, the internet thought like America Chavez. They're going to force all this social justice stuff. I'm freaking out about it. Yeah. And this is uh, besides lesbian moms, which I don't even count that. The only this is the only thing where she's like, food is free in most universes. Your universe is weird, but then it turns out it turns out it's not. It does cost. You gotta money. pay for the pizza balls. Yes, uh, and then they put a spell on Bruce Campbell to slap himself, and it's a yeah. callback to Evil Dead when he like gets possessed and he does three yeah, yeah. he does three Stooges yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah, and good. I'm like, yeah, that's funny. Although Bruce is like, <laughs> yeah, I not really, quite as good as it used to be. I but really wish that they gave him more. He was somebody, yeah. Like you gotta give that guy a role, even if it's like an egghead kind of guy, you know? Like you give him something that's DCU. But, yeah, I was gonna say DC. Like, uh, but I mean like you give him something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, shit. it's a, it's annoying they didn't go bigger, but I mean I guess this is more in line because he does Bruce Campbell has a cameo in most Sam Raimi movies. Not yeah, all. Not yeah, all. Most of them. There's a lot in this. Like, so when when we first go through that that first little bit of uh, jumping through multiverses, like mm. where they're like in the you know the paint universe and all yeah. this other stuff, and they're flying through. There's, I mean, eventually people are gonna break every single one of those down, mm. and it's either gonna be a different spot or like we go through like one that we go past a taxi real quick it says something on it too quick to be able to read it yeah I wasn't but, able to see what that said I mean out like if, if you saw anything fun and exciting that we'd all mention throw it in the chat because I know that there's gonna be millions I like of the film grain universe so it's the very cool. are they in a film or is there just film grain in the universe I love that I love that yeah. that we went through the animated one too like I yeah mean, it's just it's really it's really cool stuff. so at this point in the movie Baron Mordo introduces him to the Illuminati we should tell him the truth at that point you think okay so this Mordo is evil you like this you know yeah. he might be you know helping I thought even maybe he was helping Wanda to a point but no no we, no. we don't find that but the Illuminati uh, and yeah. I know this is like a cameo fest yeah you didn't like it 
No, I thought it was fine. So I thought they were all going to be from different universes, but they're just from that universe. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah but they're aware of the multiverse. Yeah. But they're all from that. So the but Illuminati... But they are there protecting the multiverse. They're yes. just spaced in that universe. Right? Yes, they're just yeah, there. Yeah. They're aware of the multiverse because yeah. of what Doctor Strange did, but yeah. they're in that universe. Yes. Yeah. So it's Black Bolt, who is Ansel Mount, yeah. from the Inhumans TV show that no one liked and Run got back. canceled right away. Yeah. Good for him for coming back. You know, he's he Remember, was probably excited, but they yeah. hyped that. That was supposed to be a movie, and then they thought oh, they could do yeah. better as a TV show. Oh yeah. And then they introduced Inhumans into Agents of Shield to like get you ready for the show. Then they did the IMAX release of the tr of the premiere and it was first awful. Episodes, yeah. And then the show was awful. I think I watched the first episode and I I just I couldn't get behind it. It was, you know. Yeah, was, and I, I they did the Plus I didn't know really the character so I wasn't involved. They did the so. thing where they don't really have their outfits. And this he does have the outfit. Yeah. He oh, has yeah. the comic accurate yeah. outfit. I mean, I think they did a great job yes. with him. I mean, that scene where they uh, Charles Xavier shows our strange what their strange uh, you know mm. what happened to him on Titan which I also like that they defeated uh, Thanos on Titan yeah that's so cool. he never got he never got to lay a stone they all went up there they took care of him there yeah. what happened to Tony Stark uh, okay you know what I mean? let me so go does, down does let me go down there? the list because I'm very upset there? I'm very upset go ahead so next it's um sorry yes and then we'll it was Black yes. Bolt Mordo mm-hmm uh, Captain Carter, mm -hmm. Captain who Carter. was introduced. It's not the same one from What If, but it's basically Captain Carter it, from What If. Pretty much. This they, one has a rocket pack. Yeah. Well, she did in the other one too, didn't she? She did. I don't remember. Maybe. No. I only watched I don't it remember. once. But yeah, I mean, which I, I mean, it was a setup. You know, like yeah. like they they used What If, and they, I mean, they they were also quoted saying that they're you know they're going to be using some of these characters that people like and yeah. you know they're testing them on what if and then they bring them into that they do that with CW as well with DC so yeah. they'll, they'll Where they use test characters. it out one way and if yep. they don't like it they'll bring in a different version yep. now they just either do bring in a different awful version, versions of everyone or they'll start them on the TV and mm -hmm. then if people like them then they'll tell the CW hey you can't use these anymore we're going to actually you know spend Which, a lot of money yeah there. arrow got screwed over with suicide squad yeah, yeah a lot of them. yeah so. anyway um, Sorry, DC again, my friend. And then the next one upset me the most. Hit me. That's all we want is Tom Cruise Iron Man oh, as God. Superior Iron Man. See, I don't think I wanted that. No, I wanted that. Because I I I, Tom Cruise was like what people wanted for years. Yeah. And they, I think there's actually comics where they started drawing him to resemble Tom Cruise yeah. as a way to like yeah. get him in there. Yeah. So I would have loved just an asshole tom cruise iron man the superior iron man yeah instead would have been fun instead in this universe captain marvel's friend is captain marvel yeah um uh monica rambeau and, and she's got the full skill set she you know she's like the full captain marvel we don't know whatever happened to uh um, mm. To 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 uh, um, uh, Brie Larson's. Yeah. Do you, do you know why she's in this? I love. I love that. Oh, go ahead, hit me. Because her daughter character got powers at the end of Wandavision, and now she's a Miss Marvel. Because they're not making Captain Marvel two; they're just making a movie called The Marvels. Yeah. And I want it's going to be Captain Marvel, whatever the girl from Wandavision's oh. character name is, yeah, yeah. Yeah. the Miss Marvel. And I bet you alternate universe Captain Marvel. You think so? I don't think the alternate one will be in. I think that we just, I think that- Well, they, they're going to bring that actress back somehow. Yeah. I think that they had, you know, these people that were, you know, nope. that were already within the universes that, you know, already existed. And they were like, hey, let's, we already have, you know, separate versions of these characters. Let's mm. bring them in. And then, you know, had had uh, a couple fun ones as well. But yeah. but those are the ones that I think that, you know, the characters that haven't been done yet. And, you know, they're bringing them in because that's, I mean, that's what they might do. But so to bring in somebody who's already, you know... Frank. That's, Who would you want more? But Tom Cruise Cap wouldn't have a future in it. It would just be like a. That's you, fine. Wouldn't you be more upset? You'd be like, "Why am I doing this?" No, uh, I'm I'm fine with a cameo of Tom Cruise. I'm fine because I would know it'd be one and done. Yeah, and it would have been, yeah, yeah. They're considering not trying to sell what something. happens to them, yeah, yeah. how fucking funny would that have been? And then uh, <laughs> the other one is. John Krasinski as Reed Richards. Yeah. Now I hope he plays Reed Richards in the actual movie I hope they're he making. Does too. A lot of people don't like which him. John Watts is not 
directing that now. The guy who did the Spider-Man movies. Really? He was supposed to do Fantastic Four and he walked away from it now. Really? Yeah, hmm. I don't blame him. He just did fucking three Spider-Man movies I'd want to break through. Yeah, yeah, I know. But, but still, um, hmm. there's that fake image of John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic that's yep. been floating around for years and they're like, fuck it, throw him in the movie. Yeah. But I, I they could just get great. someone else. I think. I mean, he stayed very... Like, I mean, like Reed Richards would, you know, but I mean, no. it was, it, it was cool to see him in the suit and playing the character. He doesn't really do anything at all as Mr. Fantastic. Like his, no. his powers, like you really, he just gets eaten right They should have got the guy Wanda. from the, the Jessica Alba movies. That would have been fun. Or yeah. Jessica Alba. That would have been fun. <laughs> well, so, uh, so Reed Richards in this says, you know, that he has a wife, which would be Sue Storm. And yeah. And he kids. also says that he has kids who are like yeah. very intellectual. Yeah. They're like the, super, I forget. Yep. It's been a while since I read Fantastic so, Four, but I mean. Yeah, they that's, have like superpowers yeah, and whatnot. So I mean, that's that's pretty cool to know yeah. that you know to have to have a Fantastic Four movie. If we do do it and jump right into something like that, that would be kind of cool. Instead of the origin story, and Marvel's been good at that, yeah. not giving you the whole origin story now and just jumping right into it. Mm -hmm. Maybe he is married with kids, and now we you know see yeah. them like that. So and then um, now I feel like if we get Fantastic Four, they're gonna go back a little bit. They're not gonna do kids right away. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. it's cool to see him there. Yeah. Uh, and then of course. Professor X, Patrick Stewart, the man, looking exactly like uh, the cartoon Hell comic yeah. Professor X. Yep. He even does the thing where he does this, and we see shock waves come yep. from his brain, and which you, they never did in the other movies. Yep. And you had the uh, the animated series uh, theme as well. Yes, the animated series theme, but yep. he's not the animated series X Men. He just in this universe, this universe's Professor X strongly yeah. resembles. Yeah. Now he he's had like, a great his second death scene. Uh, in Logan, yeah. not to be confused with his first death, <laughs> death scene in uh, that. And well, yeah. uh, I Jessica left it in. Uh, he he died when he visited the store. Did so he? the late Patrick Stewart. I assume this is his wow. last movie. Mm. Um, I'm getting really worried about hanging out here so much, Tony. These actors, they. I really didn't think Patrick Stewart, of yep. all people. I, would I get better, a little carried away, and he did. I better not ever become a superhero. Please don't ever cast <laughs> me as a superhero. Oh, Frank got the part as Blue Beetle. Frank. <laughs> I get a call. Hey, Frank, you want to come by the store? Maybe do a review? Uh, Tony? No, I'm busy. Uh, anyway, For the rest of my life. He shows up, but he is a completely different thing. But he said he was so happy with his death scene in Logan, he thought he was done. Yeah. And then he came back for this glorified cameo. And I theorize... Hit me. Uh, he is a stage actor. He's like a theater actor, mostly. Mm -hmm. He does like to do a lot of theater. Yeah. And uh, with COVID, he probably wasn't able to do that. Yeah. So he probably didn't make as much as he usually does most yeah. years. And he's like, oh, shit. Well, I will make more. He's like, oh, Picard's ending because I ruined it? Shit, I could probably make oh. some. I could make a decent amount of cash oh. if I just show up as a cameo. Maybe, you know, I mean, you know, he's a fun guy. He does, like, some crazy stuff. And I'm like pretty that, sure he'll so? justify it. It's like, well, I, when I said that, I yeah. meant that previous version of Professor X. But this is a whole he's new gonna, version. He's going to say, well, you know, I wasn't going to do it. And then I read the script, and it was a really great script. And Sam came to me, and we yeah. spoke, and he really wanted but me. But really, and, you know. really, it was like, hey, guys, theaters were shut down for a bit, and my other show is ending. Maybe. And I would like to vacation wherever Possibly. and buy another house. Well, you're not a mind reader, Tony. <laughs> I am not, but he is. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they're all introduced, but I love the twist that they're... And this was spoiled for me on YouTube. No. How? Because I, I open up YouTube. You, you and my home screen. Like recently? Yeah, home screen. Why would you do that? Thumbnail footage. First thing being recommended to me. Reed Richards dies. And I'm like, no, dude, I stayed off social media for, well, like to an extent. Frank, I work on YouTube. I don't really have a choice. I know. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, I don't, don't have a choice. I don't. God, that's so rough. But I do oh. love, so there's this thing called dream walking where you can go into the body of someone else in another universe. And I love how Wanda just takes over the other Wanda. Yeah. And she just murders everyone dressed yeah. like a house mom. The kids. <laughs> <laughs> just, just in pajamas, basically, yeah. barefoot. She even puts, I would have put yeah. sneakers on. I mean, you know, she's doing it, you know, for her kids. And when she comes into this body, her kids are just asleep on the couch. And she was like, all right, peace out, kids. Just yeah. leave you here all alone. Yeah. Just to go murder the whole universe. And for all the creeps online, yes, yeah, she is barefoot for this entire sequence. Oh, people like that. Yes. Uh, they call her mommy. There's Elizabeth Olsen mommy posting. They, no. And uh, normally it's a creepy internet Ooh. thing, but she has since found out. And on the red carpet, she was talking about how she thinks it's hilarious that people call her mommy. I really 
would love being called someone's mom, you know? Oh, no. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, hey, she's a good-looking woman, but yeah, that's, God, that's, you, a little, that's a little Who would have thought that the Olsen oh, twins had a, a third cool. way hotter sister? Um, <laughs> yeah, so she's, she's I love her evil turn in this where she's just killing oh, everyone. Yeah. What oh was God. what was your favorite death of the Illuminati? Probably Black Bolt. Bl by far, oh Black my Bolt. God, that I mean, that's what I was, you know, saying is is how freaking brutal is this? Yes, like for Disney Plus, for Disney. Like, I know. Holy shit! You know how many? And plus, like every time that the kids were watching TV, it was yeah. like Snow White or, or yeah. different like Disney, you know, movies and stuff. And it's oh, like, okay, you know that's what? Great, but I just caught something. What? The yeah. old timey cartoon they're watching. Yeah. Was the other Disney character, not Mickey Mouse? Nope, the, it was the one before that, the rabbit one, which yes. they put into a video game years ago. But yeah, it was the one before yeah, so that. I guess in that universe, yep. that's the one that took yep. off. Universal bought that character, <laughs> and then and then uh, Disney had to create the mouse. Yes, yes. Fun yes. fact for all you guys out there, cats and kittens. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, Black Bolt. Uh, we find out he killed the other Stephen Strange. So if you're unfamiliar with Black Bolt's power as an yeah. Inhuman. He has he oh, has the man. unique power so of whenever he talks, he sends these like shock waves yeah. that can just annihilate, annihilate. you, yeah. just kill you basically. Yeah. Uh, and if you ever saw the preview for the uh, Inhuman show, there's like a scene where he gets he gets punched mm -hmm. and he goes ugh, and he like shatters a car. Yeah. So he's uh, he killed. Isn't that the whole thing? Is that he killed somebody on accident or something? And then like no, something I don't know. Like I've never watched it. Uh, but yes, he um, he's gonna use his power, and he breathes in. And she cover, she disappears his mouth. Ooh, that was so good. And then when he was like, yeah, Reed Richards so, like, uh, Black Bolt can just say one word, yeah. and, and you know, and and kill you. Or uh, Black Bolt can say one thing out of his mouth and yeah. kill you. And then she goes, what now? And it's just, and he's and like, the panic. The panic so, from everyone in the room was yeah. just like, whoa, that was our biggest weapon. And he is shocked, and he exhales, and it just goes boom. boom. And you see the head like, Ooh. and it's like pretty brutal for PG-13. Christ. I'm not sure what she does to Mr. Fantastic. She turns him into spaghetti, I think. Yeah, I mean, he's like rubber, so she literally just started shredding him, him and he was just... Falling to pieces. Yeah. Oh my god! Like, and uh, Captain horrifying. Carter, Captain Carter gets split in half with her shield. Oh, I love that one. That was but pretty. But that cool. was like, oh my god! I mean, like, talk about a horror film. Yeah. Like this is Marvel horror. I didn't see the scaring people straight yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, scaring kids. You just but, murdered the freaking Illuminati Avengers. The Illuminati. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not sure this what it, this is what it is, but there's a big statue and it kind of looks like Xena Warrior Princess. I couldn't. Fit. Does anyone out there know who? Let who us know was, who the the statue. It looks like a Wonder Woman ish person. Yeah. yeah. But it's obviously not. So that's why I'm like, is that <laughs> Xena? Is that like a wink to Xena? <laughs> you just like Xena. Well, no, because you know he's friends with Rob Tappert, who is married to Lucy Lawless, yeah. and they put her at like she she was in the Evil Dead show yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Um, but been. yeah, it's a really, really fun sequence. Uh, and then the rest of the movie is them just trying to figure out how to stop Wanda. Wanda gets her book destroyed. So she goes to a mountain where the book was written, where she yeah. finds out she's like this God, but she just wants kids. And then they go to get their book, the good book. And then that gets destroyed. And they're like, well, shit. Uh, we eventually meet another Dr. Strange. Yeah, he's like yeah, yeah, evil. Yeah. I like when when they're running from uh, from Wanda in mm. that in that scene, and uh, there she's you know shutting all the doors behind him, and she yeah. keeps on blowing through them, and then finally she gets through the last one, and then Strange is all like, "Hope you can swim," yeah. and then just you know, and then she's defeated right there, and then they have time. Yeah. Like, wait, that's all it took was just a little bit of water. Yeah. I feel like she could have just been like, mm, and she wasn't uh, ready for it. No. Okay. Um, you're right. But yeah, so we're kind of skipping ahead. The the big climax. Yeah. And this is. The one thing I like is, uh, so he destroy he defeats another Doctor Strange and uses his evil book, and Christina's like, "Don't do it." Defeats this like, Doctor Strange, like, yeah, I he's mean, like, it's it's pretty cool that. So when he when he first meets him and he if, he, he he wants his Christine, yeah, and he's not giving him Christine. He's no. like, "Not not for you, freak." Yeah, and then uh, he's like, "Do you ever have that dream when you're falling?" And he's like. You know, I've done that to so many different Doctor Stranges. And then he looks off into the... He's like, that was he's probably like, me. Oh, my God. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's not die today, Strange. That was that was yeah. awesome. But he kills I, him. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We got to talk about this one. The whole musical note fight scene. 
That was bizarre. That, that was, was kind of fantastic. Cool. Yeah, he pulls musical notes off the paper, off, off the paper, the, off and the, he's throwing musical yeah. notes. So the music yeah. and Danny Elfman did the music for this. He yeah, replaced yeah. Uh, he the previous it. guy. Yeah, he killed the themes, man. Yeah, it was really really fun. Um, that, I do like how Evil Doctor Strange's world looks like Loki at the end. Kang the Cocker, uh, Kang the Cock. So that's Kang the co <laughs> Conqueror uh, at his like the end of the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I similar. would think that he did. We did he describe what happened to his world there? It was just that he got a hold of the dark hold and just went bad. I mean, they said um, when you cross when characters cross yeah. other words, sometimes they can kind of like yeah, they can converge and, and destroy, destroy each other. And that's yeah. what happened there. Yeah, it's like yeah. the plot of Mortal Kombat yeah. Annihilation. Is it? The second Mortal Kombat yeah. movie, which I'm multiverse. sure you're very familiar with, <laughs> where uh, Shao Kahn and, of course, the armies of Outworld, they start merging the realms. Hmm. I haven't seen that one. I saw the new one on HBO Max. Yeah. It's a little bit fun. They're both bad. It's fine and fun. <laughs> they're, no, they are both bad. Nah, come on. I had they're, a, they're the fight scenes were cool. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's actually one of our most watched videos is our Mortal really? Kombat 2020 Well, the Sub-Zero fight scene at the end, I think, is very cool. I had a lot of fun with that. Yeah. <sighs> All right, go on. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, I like the 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 whole thing where it's like I'm gonna dream walk. It's like, but there's no strange in your universe. It's like there's a dead yeah. one, and I'm like, oh, that's how they do the Does zombie. That count strange. as a Chekhov's gun? Yeah, yeah <laughs> I don't think that counts as a Chekhov's no. gun. That is a setup. Kept it and there payoff, for later, though. right? <laughs> um, yeah, but no, maybe it is a Chekhov's right? gun. I forget. I say so. I have to double check it. But yes, uh, I love that whole setup where he's zombie strange. Oh, yeah. He shows up, he's fighting her. And then... I mean, that's... Yeah, the whole Evil yeah, Dead reference. But he they pushes take, his hand through. And, yeah. They take another thing from Spider-Verse. What do we... So in Kingpin, Into the Spider-Verse, he yep. wants his family. Yeah. And then the universe is converged. Oh. And he sees multiple versions of his family. Yep. But his family died because they saw him about to kill Spider-Man. They ran away and got in a car accident. Mm -hmm. And then the end of that one... They're about to see him kill Spider-Man again, and he's seeing every version of his family in the universe is afraid of him. Yeah. And then in this, America Chavez learns her powers. Doctor Strange decides cool. not to kill her. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. at that moment when Wong turns around, I mean, shocking that Wong turned around and did that and said that for yeah. him for him to take her powers. Yes. Because, like, I feel like Wong has always been like the, I don't want any part of this, I'm no. leaving, or, you know, stuff well, like that. Well, now he's Sorcerer Supreme. I know, but to make that decision that, like, you know that not to give this girl some kind of chance first to use her no. powers. And then you you knew that, you know, something like that was coming. And a lot of these scenes that there's there's a there's a piece, you know, in the beginning or a scene before that, that when we enter these certain scenes, you kind of, it's already laid up. You already know what's going to happen. Mm. Um, you know, that's a lot of these Marvel films, you know, but I still thoroughly enjoy them. And it's yeah. a lot of fun. I don't care, you know, that everyone says, oh, they're all the same, you know, process, not whatever. All this, I mean, they're, like, they process, have, there's some similar. Process wise, there yes, is. But there I, is. That. I still have a lot of fun with it. But when he goes back over to her, wakes her up, and he's like, you know, gives her that that little pep talk. You can do it. You can I do, do love this. that they committed to him being zombie shit. strange the whole the finale. Whole, he's like, yeah. ah. <laughs> I love when movies do that. Like one of my favorites. It's creepy, man. One of my favorite like action adventure movies is Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> yeah. And they do a funny thing in that movie where the girl kisses Kurt Russell. And for the whole climax with him fighting the bad guy, he's just got lipstick on. He doesn't yes. realize it. And they just, the whole, the whole third act, he, for a long period of time, uh, and he yeah. doesn't wipe the makeup off until after he kills the guy. So I love that the whole yeah. thing is just like, oh, a little Dr. Bit more Strange is a zombie yeah. and his face is rotting away. Yeah. I think that's awesome, man. I mean, yeah. it, it was really, it was really cool, you know, set up. I love... I love the uh, the cape made out of souls. Yeah, uh, that was cool. And also, like, you know, he tells Christine right before he goes under, he's just like, uh, you know, just protect my body. She's like, okay, yeah. no problem for what? And he's like, a bunch the, of souls. And then she's like, what the fuck? She uses the light of a lieth. And that's when you go, what's that? Oh, is that in the Loki show? I better watch the Loki show mm -hmm. on Disney+. Plus. Yep. She also says, go back to hell, which yeah, is, uh, like isn't that like an Evil Dead reference as well? Doesn't, yeah, kind doesn't of. Yeah. He scream like turn to them. Like, he says nice something like that. Says, yeah. Go back to hell. Now, uh, so what happens is she teleports her to the other, the other multi, the other universe, yeah. and the kids are horrified because they see this thing that's like their mom, who's evil, and then it's trying to kill her mom. She's like, "Oh no, I'm the bad guy." Very heartbreaking. And it's just like well, that was Spider Verse. He kind of took that to. So she has the motivation from Spider Verse, and then she has yeah. that from Spider Verse, and it's like, yeah, okay. I, I mean, thought you guys kinda, would do a little something different, yeah, but okay. Might have been, you know, a little, uh, 
you know, lazy to do something like that. Yeah. But I mean, but I mean, you get a it great is, result. I do like it. how they resolve it. I just wish I didn't see it in another multiverse movie so yeah, soon. Yeah. But yeah, she does the whole thing where she realizes, like, oh god, I'm the monster. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then the other one is like, I'm gonna take yeah. care of them. She be said, happy. She said, just be happy that they'll be okay, or know yeah. know that they'll be, you know, safe and happy or whatever. But yeah. and then you know, she just. Gets completely destroyed off of that. She comes back into her universe. America Chavez just punches another hole and she's out of there. And then, you know, she, she brings down the house with her and also destroys all the books in all the universes. So yes, there's, all, she, there's no all more the dark universes, holes. All that dark, cold thing yeah. is just gone in every single universe. I guess that building just, you know, either shows Yeah, and she's definitely dead. Oh, she's dead. Oh, no, she's, she's definitely she's dead. We're never, ever going to see her yeah. ever again. There wasn't a blast of red light that could imply that she teleported somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So my only issue with it is how do you redeem yourself from here now? You know, like after after you, you could say the book was possessing you, but she killed a lot of people. Yeah. Like good people. She yeah. murdered them. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Patrick Stewart died a third time as yeah. Professor X. He got his neck yeah. snap. A lot but of anyway. Little deaths in this. There's a lot that we're, you know, skipping here, but it's just yeah. all around a great, yeah. great film. Um, but yeah, I mean, how do you how do you redeem her now? After WandaVision, you're like, okay, so you know, she enslaved a, a a town, you know, screwed up some lives for a little while there. It's really fucked up. She disappeared. She was supposed to get better, and now she comes back and is com a complete villain to where it's mm. like from here, where do you go? There's rumors that, you know, her kids will be in uh, Young Avengers. Like, eventually we will see her Maybe. kids. That's, you know, yeah. what they're thinking. Uh, it hasn't been really confirmed yet, but yeah. it's what they're thinking. Um, to where it's like, okay, so is Wanda not part of it? Or does she get better? Does she heal? The, doesn't the rest of the world fucking does hate her other guts Wanda now? come in or something? Yeah, doesn't that that's Wanda the, So in? here's yeah. the thing about the multiverse. Yeah, yeah, hit me. You, you bro. My theory is. Yeah, yeah. Because this is definitely what they're doing with DC, because DC fucked up a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. But unfortunately, they're introducing it in a movie with a guy who keeps going around beating people in Hawaii. Um, I think they're not sure of how people are going to take the MCU going forward now that they don't have all the big hitters. Yeah. So I think now they're introducing the multiverse. So they're like, hey, it wouldn't make sense for us to introduce X-Men now, but... We're starting a whole new X-Men series with other Marvel characters in universe 2060. You think so? I think they want to be able to like do, because th I don't know, because you don't have Iron Man anymore. You don't have Captain America anymore. You don't need them. And if you're going to bring the X-Men, you kind of want to see them all together. So now that they have the multiverse, they can be like, hey, yeah. uh, over here you have little girl Iron Man yeah. coming soon. Yeah. Uh, but in this universe, you have Ray Iron Man with Wolverine. I think that's what they're going to do. Yeah, I mean, I would think that they they would do something similar. I mean, this whole phase is, is about Kang in the multiverse. Yeah. So we are spreading out, and I mean, this the final fight that we do have, you know, when it, when it does eventually come against Kang, yeah. would be all the multiverses, you know, together up against either multiple Kangs or, you know, the strongest one out of all yeah. of them. So eventually this big, you know, final fight will be like the What If series. Did you mm -hmm. see the finale of that? Yes. So all the different multiverses. I was shocked the Watchers weren't in this. I know. When we when we hit, when we hit where the uh, the what is it the like their book like the good book that, yeah. that we find I forget what it's called hit me with it. Yeah. Um, Ashanti. Well, Ashanti. Ashanti. <laughs> Ashanti. Whatever it was. Yeah. From Rock <laughs> with you. Uh, I, I'm shocked. Ja Rule wasn't in this. <laughs> uh, so. When we finally hit that book, that universe right there is uh, in between all the multiverses. So yeah. It's a dead space. So that's where we would find the Watcher at. And yeah. I was really hoping to just see his face in the clouds or something. Yeah. Like how they did through the TV show. Or Watcher, because Guardians cool. of the Galaxy show, there's multiple Watchers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we could have did that. Uh, I think when they're going through portals, I think I saw the Living Tribunal at one point. Uh, like a statue of him, but anyway. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's there's so much to yeah. unpack in this film. It's, so there's more you could do, and they're gonna do more multiverse adventures because Charlize Theron comes out at yeah. the end. How about that? And she's like, I'm a character that no one knows because we all had to Google it. No, no, we all knew it was, it was Clea. She's a sorceress from, you know, from. Uh, uh, she actually premiered in 1964, Doctor Strange, uh, 126. Uh, I'm telling you, this is it. Look it up. You got to read this book before you go into the movie. <laughs> and uh, she comes in as a love interest for Strange. Spoilers. But and like I said, it's Charlie supposedly. the Ron. 
Uh, so yeah, that's where it's setting out. up. She and is a gorgeous woman, and he's got a weird spell at the end where, like, his, he's got the third eye that the evil strange has. Yes, yeah, so it ends yeah. on a cliffhanger where you think he's dying, and then the post credit scene yeah. just shows you that he's All of a sudden he already figured know. it out. Yeah, he's fine. It's like, well, that's not. Yeah, <laughs> what? I would have rather not have that scene where he freaks out. Yeah. I would have rather had it like yeah in the post credit. Uh, Charlize comes in and then the eye pops up and they go. Yeah. So like something like that. I don't know. You could have, I don't know. Maybe like end it with the, you know, Bruce Campbell being, uh, you know, a different character. Maybe make him I a do like how the end of Bruce Campbell, something. he's punching himself and the spell's I mean, over. Yeah. So he screams, it's over! And then yeah. the movie ends. I thought that <laughs> yeah. was funny. It was funny, but yeah. you know, I don't know. I, I was just expecting so much more. Out of yeah. make, make him a different Doctor Strange in a different multiverse. Well, that was the like thing. Quick thing. We said yeah. um, in Spider-Man 2, they mentioned there's a Doctor Strange in that universe, but yeah, I guess yeah. they didn't want to deal with Sony. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they, because then they would have to do more stuff with Sony, and they're like, well, "We're allowed to name drop Spider Man, but that's it." Uh, but yeah, so I think we had a good time. Do you, you feel think? like it was more of a movie or a commercial? I know that you know when you watch these things, you're a big business guy, so you're all mm -hmm. like, "Oh, you know, money maker, money." Maker, I think money maker, it's money maker. more of a movie that turns into a commercial for a bit. Yes. Yeah, so your second act is a commercial. Your, your sec second act is a commercial. Your second act is look at all these properties we have. Go watch this. You go watch this. You go watch yep. this. It's all on Disney Plus. If you want to, we watch lost a it. lot of money on Inhumans. Please go watch Please Inhumans go so you know who this guy yeah, is. Because we're gonna, they'll probably, you know, really start unrolling all. Of these, yeah. Do, all do these you like John Krasinski? Because we can bring him back. We just want to know if you like him first. If you don't like him, he's dead. I like John Krasinski. But we can bring him back. Do you want this girl and an alternate version of her daughter to be in Mi in the Marvel series, I'm the excited. Marvel movie? I'm, I'm actually really excited for Miss Marvel. There's a lot of there's a lot of good content coming out. That's all they changed her powers. Next couple of years, yeah. She still stretches, but it's like an energy. Yeah, it's an energy stretch. Well, not enough bull guy. I really want it more bull man. <sighs> you know who the bull guy is? No. He eventually becomes Doctor Strange's apprentice. In, really? In the comics. Yeah, yeah. 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 And bullies. he just has a normal voice. Yeah. I was expecting him to be bull voice. Dude, yeah, man. He was like He was cool. He was cool, dude. I liked him. Yeah. I really liked when um uh when Scarlet Witch was attacking their temple right there and then she found the she like scanned the all the are all the warriors and she oh, was like she's scared. Where's like, the weak one? Where's the weak one? Where's she? Like, run. <laughs> sees the guy like kind of shaking. She's like, That's my guy. She comes up from behind him, just leans over. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, okay, sure thing. I'm out. <laughs> uh, but anyway, oh, yeah, it's Doctor a good, Strange, it's a the, good film. The, the multiverse of madness, all I'm going to say is Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch, his wig sucks. He's got to fix oh. the goddamn wig because it looks terrible. That's what, it, really? And the eye. The eye thing yes. you don't like either. And no yeah. more stabbing eyes. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Um, hopefully nothing weird happened. I didn't notice any. Did you notice any changes during the shoot? I didn't. No. Uh, what, do you, what do you mean? What are you getting at? Well, you know, because we did that spell and we were teleported. I thought maybe there would be some, like, yeah, effects. But, but I think we're fine. No. Yeah. Um, did anybody's uh, socks change at home, maybe? Different colors or anything like I that? I mean, that'd be weird. Yeah. That'd be but weird. anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let us know, did you like Doctor Strange? Is it a movie or just a big commercial? Let us know your opinions. Frank, where can we find you? For the record, I loved Doctor Strange. I can't wait for Thor. We're going to have a whole lot of fun. It's a great time to be a comic book fan. Uh, you can find me on my Instagram, Frank underscore Volpe underscore. You can check me out on IMDb. And then you can also find me on Twitter. By the way, can I change my Twitter name? Because I think I'm Frank Volpe 12. I don't know where the 12 came from. I guess there's other, there's 11 others before you, me. You could probably change it. Can I Look change that? Let, Let me know. know. Let me know if I could change it because I don't know what I'm doing with Twitter. So Anyway, anyway uh, that is it from us. And oh, God. Frank, I think that's Benedict Cumberbatch. I think he heard me making fun of his wig. Shit. Uh, oh, wow. He's booking it pretty quick. God um, damn it, Tony. No. Uh, wait, wait. Frank, Frank, Frank. I got it. We're going we're gonna to get out of here. Ah, is he? He's still on his way. He's still on his way. All right, ready? Hit me. Take us to any other universe. Let me do a spell. Uh, uh, Timon and Boomba. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.